We're going hopping, hop, we're going hopping today. When things are popping, pop, a Philadelphia way. We're going to drop and drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Where are you folks from? From Seattle, both of us. Really? If, uh, before we get into that, uh -huh. please introduce me to your associates. On bass, this is Kerry Hatch. Kerry, how are you? Nice Just to see fine. you. We'll let you do the honors on the drummer. Who's he? That's my good friend, Michael Chokum. Hello, Michael. How are you? This is a new t a tag team match. Who's the guy on the end? That guy on the end is John Goo. I was afraid you were going to say, I never saw him before in my life. <laughs> so nice to see you. Thank you very much. Shannon, uh, in Seattle, you ran into an old friend of mine, a guy named Tom Bell. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom was from Philadelphia. How did he end up on the other end of the world? Well, he wanted to get away from Philadelphia, as he says he wanted a little elbow room. Right. Now, he was, uh, he was par partially responsible, along with others, others for the, the modern-day Philadelphia sound, a soul-oriented, urban kind of sound. Now, you hung in there for a while, and then you end up here. Now, does geography make a difference in music? Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Um, you know, when you're, when you're here, it's such a big town, and there's yeah. so much energy going on here. This is really, you know, the, the main part of the music business goes on here. All right, now, now here's what confuses the daylight time. I mean, what is the man's name who, who uh, produced this album? Tom Worman. Where have I heard of him before? He's produced Motley Crue and yeah. Twisted Sister and Ted Nugent. <laughs> Little quiet chamber music groups, uh, easy on the, I mean, this is very, uh, you called it rough-edged music. I mean, a lot of people call it heavy metal. I mean, this, isn't that scary when you go to a producer like that? Well, yeah, it was at first, yeah, because we didn't know what he was going to be like, you know. We, we, uh, we thought he might be... Crazy. A little, yeah, a little bit crazy. <laughs> I could see it coming across his eyes. Shall I say this or not? No, uh, it turned out successfully. Um, yeah, we love it, and we really loved working with him, too. So. Well, it's got a great sound. I should ask you what the next song is and then get out of the way. It's called Don't Tell Me We Have Nothing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Boy Meets Girl. Woo! 